What is up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and we are back to back in DaVinci Resolve 14. I had a question about um, round tripping from Premiere, I mean from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere and back to DaVinci Resolve. I had a tutorial back then on how to do this but let's just redo this with the new DaVinci Resolve 14 because it actually has an option in there which is pretty cool. So let's get started. I have some media here uploaded in my media pool, just a couple of Sony A7S II footage. Uh, nothing cool or particular, just just for this test and this tutorial. Let's go ahead and go to edit. If you haven't, just create a timeline. Um, let's go to my thing here so you can see that it's Ultra HD because I have the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I don't have the studio yet. Click on edit. Let's drag and drop our footage. Doesn't matter what order. And then we don't touch this because we're supposed to cut it in Premiere. So let's go straight to deliver. Okay, you're gonna move this to the right. Click on Premiere XML, I'm already there. So QuickTime H.264 is fine. If you have a really slow computer, change this to 720p. You can change this to low or least. Let's put it to medium. Okay, uh, scroll down. Shouldn't have to change anything there. In here, you just gotta make sure audio is checked off and file, don't touch anything here if you can because that's gonna screw up your XML round trip. All right, so browse for the location. I already have it set to proxy. Press OK. Let's render. Okay, now that that's rendered out, we're going to go back to the edit page. Go all the way to the beginning. We're going to click on File, Export AAF XML. I'm just going to put this in the same folder. So F, proxy, I choose F, uh, FCP XML 1.5 and I'm just going to name this from Resolve. Save. It's going to do its thing. After that, go to Premiere. Have an empty Premiere uh, project here. We're going to go to File, Import. We're going to go to where it's supposed to be Desk. Proxy, boom. All right? Double click the timeline. Scroll in, option, scroll. And this is where we'll cut the video. So you can see resolution is redonkulous. It's 720p, but don't mess with it because we're going to bring it back to resolve. So this is where you cut your footage. Hey, yeah, let's do it here. Oh, first off, let's go ahead and connect these together. Link. I don't even know why it's unlinked, it should be linked. All right, so they're all linked. Go ahead and cut these. Let's go ahead and put this first there. Just doing a rough cut, guys. Nothing too crazy here. Just trying to keep this short. All right, go there. See how fast it is? Because it's 720p. It's awesome, right? All right, so now we have our cut. All right, so it's about 11 seconds. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and save this as. Um, let's go to the same folder, proxy. Let's do this, test, save. Hey, okay, now that you have that, what you're gonna do now is file. Where is your export? Final Cut Pro XML. All right, it's gonna do its thing. We're gonna go back to that folder again. J, desk, proxy. This time, we're going to go to Resolve. Awesome. We go back to DaVinci Resolve. We go back to the Edit page. Click on File, Import AAF EDL XML. Go to J, Desk, well, you know, your path to Resolve. Very important part, make sure that you uncheck this because if not, it's going to load those 720p footage back in Resolve and you're going to get crappy quality. So uncheck, set time on resolution, it's the original, press OK. And here is your cut footage, untouched. Awesome. So from here, you can color grade, correct your footage, go to clip. All right, I'm just going to make some corrections here, nothing cool. Just want you, want you to see what happens after here. We have to bring it back to Premiere. 
This is awesome grading, guys. This is great. That looks awesome. So we'll go to deliver tab when you're done. We're gonna go um, same thing here. Let's see. I'm gonna go to Premiere XML. I'm gonna go to video. Now we're gonna do 10 bit. This is the final thing that we're gonna export back to Premiere after we're done grading. So let's not touch any of these. Okay. And then we're gonna name a folder in there. Done. Press OK. Press OK. Add to render queue. Start. All right, now that's done. Go back to the edit page, file, export XML. We're gonna go uh, back to prim, back to Premiere. You're gonna find the right folder right there. Save, go back to Premiere, file, import. Click on that. It's gonna load. And you go to this one, which should be 4K. You can see that here, 2160p. And here is your final footage. From here, you probably go to After Effects and finish your project and export from here through Premiere or After Effects or Adobe Media Encoder. I hope that answered your question, man. Let me know if you have any, uh, any more. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.